senior engineering manager and amongst other things Sigling falls under my umbrella as well. So I'll be showing you around here um, and you'll be going by train to Romney Sands and Stephen Clark will show you the installation there which is um, I think it's quite interesting anyway. It's quite Probably one of our most complex installations. Um, once Alan's finished on the radio, we'll see if we can start with the box and then work our way down to ST down the end where we've got some other bits and pieces. Hello then. Yeah. Frame originally from 1927, the same at Hyde. Um, Hyde frame's only got 16 levers, this one's got 24. They are the two boxes. Though. They are the two boxes. There was originally small boxes elsewhere on the line, but unnecessary really. There's a small. There was a small box at Dungeness, but it only operated the loop. There's a passing loop, and that's it. Yeah. At Dungeness, I mean, I guess you all know. I mean, you're all experts in your field, are you? You're more of an expert than us. Because I've got no no idea what you're here doing today. Oh. So I think you've just been thrown at me. You see. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, the black ones operate the point levers, uh, the red ones are signals, the reds with the white stripe have, um, they're the starter signals so I go into section and the blue one is a facing point lock so I can lock the, any facing point that a passenger train is running over will be locked into place so that it can't split and subsequently send the train two separate ways. Just had a departure in that direction and I've also just radioed my message through to line clear to Hive. It's all done on an absolute block system between here and Hyde. Um, so he's given me the line clear now. So I can take those collars off of there. And I can also take the collar off of number 22. No, yes. Because that's protecting the train while it was in the station, so I can't bring anything else on it. I'll keep the one on 23, because I've got a locomotive sitting there. That means I can't bring a train into him, because that would get messy. Number four points, that's the start, sorry, the lever, that's the starter for the train that has just left. So I can now return that to the frame. But if you watch the box here, it's telling me that number three points are reversed and locked into place. When I pop that back into the frame, it won't unlock immediately. It will calculate whether there's a train still travelling over it, so there'll be a time delay. So I can't move any of those levers until that becomes free. So and that, time. that becomes free, yeah, it's on a timer. It also works on track circuits, which if you'd have been in here as the train was leaving, it would have shown those two, all the track circuits on the way out. And all the time any of those are lit, that would not become free as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the only trouble we do get is if it rains and gets very wet down there, then sometimes the electrics decide to do silly things on number six points. But besides that, it's pretty good. Yeah, we don't have a lot of problems. So yes, now you see that's gone free, which means I can now put these back into the frame. That just normalises everything. And I'll leave the collar on for because there's a train in that section. We've got a new dive lock system now that operates a single line. We've got these tokens. I can't take one out at the moment because obviously we've got a train in that section. Um, but basically I need to ask, request for one of those in the machine and it's telling me token not available at the moment because obviously there is one travelling between here and Romney Sands. If I was really quick when they swap it over at Romney Sands, I could nick one out and then he wouldn't be able to come back again. But I won't, I won't do that. Um, so yeah, and they talk to each other via the internet now. This is all cutting edge top yeah. technology, yeah, which again, we've, Steve, we've had a brief on it. Yeah. they can all tell you all about that and I believe you're going up to Romney Sands to look at that in greater detail anyway. Yeah, look at the other end. Yeah, I mean all of these points are interlocked. You can see on each lever it tells you what must be in the right place for you to be able to pull that lever. So I mean, <coughs> looking at number 11 there, 12 must be normal, 18 must be reversed, 21 must be normal, 22 must be normal and 24 must be normal before I can even reverse that. And the interlocking is all under the floor here. If Paul wants to show you that, he can lift the floor up and have a look at it. But cool. quite honestly, not, not very hard. <coughs> I've got no idea. Actually, if you stand off the end of it, we'll lift this panel up. And I can give you an idea. I'll just come in between you there. If I can get my finger in there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Ah, there you go. Uh, you can see the interlocking. It's all under there. You can see you've got the switches at the end. Nothing's reversed here at the moment. And then under here, that's it. You can see that's the interlocking process there. You can see where everything slips into notches, which allows you to do things. Or not. Or not, <laughs> as the case may be. So each, those are all your normal switches, these are all your reverse switches. That's right, yeah. And they act on the air. Um, no. They're the electrical ones. These are all just mechanical. Right. I mean, oh, the ones at the far end, everything this end of the line is on mechanical. You can see all the rodding out the front. Yeah. Um, the far end, um, they'll be done on air. Yes. The point work is. Um, oh, 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 air mode. Oh. Mm. Ever pick it up because it never goes back again. Hopefully, the floor will drop again. Oop, the other way. That's it. Okay. Lovely. Sort of here. What are you talking about? Everything that we've got here. For ease, we can see what's going on at the other end of the platform. Number of cameras there, which have only just come in, which is handy because when I have a up train arrival now, I can see whether it's got a tailboard, so I can tell whether it's clear. And then I can uh, return the token to the machine without having to wander down there and check it. So I can see everything at that end of the station. And obviously this end is all visible to me anyway. I also have a screen here, which tells me where all the locos are in relationship. They've all got GPS. And also it tells me when they're entering and leaving every station. So that I can keep a like, big brotherly eye on what's going on around the railway. I'll clear number 16 point so that you can come off, that's just the shunt and you'll see that drop over there as I pull it, over there the shunt has dropped and we always work backwards so that the last signal that I clear is the one that he's going to see first, that way the whole route is cleared all the way through for him. So I've pulled 16 and then all I need to do is clear his two approach signals, his outer home and his home signal which is one and two here. And they are now clear and they should have gone green on the board and they have, which is good. So now we're set up ready for our arrival. Yeah. 